Welcome guys and welcome back to another video. It's Ibrahim Muslim and today I'm back with another video on Hackintosh. So it's been long again and now I have finally moved to my new office. I'm done with my degree as well and we have upgraded our recording equipment. So I just bought a new solid state Logic SSL2 Plus for my audio recording and a new mic. So I hope the audio will be great and fine than before. Okay, so in this video, I will be fixing the Wi-Fi. So there's a uh, abnormal error in Hackintosh that Wi-Fi does not initialize. So this signal does not appear. So I have just fixed my Wi-Fi and I will show you what causes that and how to fix it. So basically you can see right now Wi-Fi is working and it shows the Tektai Studio goal, but now I will make it faulty again. So let's do it. So in Clever Patches, in the detail, in the documentation, they said it is not important to use Disable Allo Mapper if you have VTD disabled in the BIOS. But for my case, if I do not use this and I keep my uh, VTD disabled in BIOS, <coughs> I do not get my Wi-Fi. And it took me a very, very long time to figure out what caused the Wi-Fi to not work in macOS Pixel and it was such a pain for me. So I hope this will help many people who are upgrading their Z390 chipset and they are using a Broadcom or any other Wi-Fi card on their system. So if I disable this, if I don't use this and I save my config.plst and you can see the Wi-Fi is working right now, I will restart and the Wi-Fi will stop working. So let's give it a try, let's stop the video and give it a restart. So welcome back to the video now. You can see the Wi-Fi is not working. So look at this error. And there's also another twist. The Ethernet does not work as well. So it was really, really annoying for me. I was not able to figure out why my Wi-Fi and my Ethernet was not working. Uh, due to trying to fix this issue, I have also swapped my Wi-Fi cards. I changed my Wi-Fi card. I thought my Wi-Fi card faulty. I also tried to I also changed my motherboard thinking my PCI card got faulty because Ethernet and Wi-Fi started not to work uh, at the same time and then I tried to go to Catalina and it started working so uh, a lot for a long time I was just confused that how can just Wi-Fi and Ethernet stop working and <clears throat> I tried a lot of different stuff and due, due to this disable Allo mapper it caused a lot of trouble for me in Big Sur so now you can see the what caused this issue and how to fix it and the fix is pretty easy on open code documentation it's mentioned that do not use the disable allo mapper and vtt disable at the same time i don't know why they said that but for my case for z390 gaming sli motherboard i have to use both of them at the same time else my wi-fi and my ethernet card does not work at the same time and does not work at all so it it is really really painful so <clears throat> that's how you basically fix it and I don't want people to waste the same amount of time I've wasted figuring out what caused this error. So that's all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. And, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any question, query, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to upgrade your open core configurator as well as open core bootloader. And now you know how to fix the Wi-Fi and Ethernet problem on your Hackintosh macOS Pixel. The fix is pretty easy. Just enable this disable allo mapper and your Wi-Fi will stop working. So that's all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. And until the very next video, please take care. Allah Hafiz.